almost done with the foundation of our sugar skull. We're going to add more to it. We're just getting eyes, nose, and mouth. Then we're going to add flowers and other cool stuff. But for now, let's get started with the mouth. We're going to take our ellipse tool again. So if you don't have your ellipse tool, have that selected. We want the default color scheme, white fill and black stroke. So D for default. And you can see it changes up there, white and black. And then I'm going to somewhere down here in the mouth area, we'll move it when we're done. We're going to hold shift and option. And I'm going to drag out something about 0.7 inches like that. I'm going to take my direct selection tool, my white arrow. I'm going to click on that point and I'm going to drag it up. Not quite like that. Let's zoom in. Zoom in, there we go. Zoom in now, we have it selected and it'll give us a little more wiggle room. We want something off like that, looks a little bit like a tooth. Um, let me see, I think I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit, something like that, there we go. A little more of an oval shape like that. So we got one tooth, I'm gonna hold option drag out a copy and shift to line it up right till it intersects let go of the mouse before the keyboard command d command d that duplicates the last step i'm going to highlight the three that we just created we want to make those a little bit smaller right click transform and scale and we'll make those about 80% smaller and click OK. Right click on the outside two or select the outside two, right click, transform and scale. 80% again is fine, click OK. And then we're going to click the last one, right click, transform, scale, 80%, click OK. Now they're all spaced out weird, so going to move it over right using our smart guides until they line up and then use my left and right arrow key just to make sure it's touching right on the edge something like that I'm going to highlight them all we're going to use a line again and we want to align the vertical line bottom just like that. So they're all aligned on the bottom and it kind of staggers down. Now I want to right click with them all selected, transform and reflect so we can make the other side of the mouth. We want it to reflect along the vertical axis or axis and click copy. Shift on my keyboard, left arrow key. I'm going to move that over. And then with my right arrow key and not shift, I'm going to line it up till we get our mouth like that. And let's move it over to the center, somewhere around there. With it all selected, right click, transform, reflect, this time horizontal, and make a copy. Shift, and down, and then you get close down arrow just so it touches just like that highlight our teeth both top and bottom we're going to come up to effect warp and arch effect warp and arch and i want the bend to be about 50 Ooh, Command Z to undo. Forgot an important step here. Let's group those first. Now let's do effect, warp, arch. And I'm going to move this over actually this way to the left. And let's do minus, hmm, maybe minus 40. And click OK. You'll notice, right? Since we warped it, 
it still thinks the shapes are up there. So anytime we do a warp or any of those type of effects, object, expand appearance. Now we want to make a copy, command C, and we want to paste that copy directly on top, command F. Then we're going to object, path, offset path, turn our preview on. And let's see, let's try 10 pixels and hit tab and click OK. Now with everything selected, we're not touching anything, right? We're going to come up to Pathfinder and Unite. Then we want to fill that with black. We're going to get rid of the white stroke. I'm going to swap, fill with black. We have one tooth, which is fine. We're going to bring the rest back. There's a reason why we made that copy and we paste it in front. Because now if I right click on these gums and I say arrange, send it back, they're going to go backwards. And that original copy of our white teeth will move into the front. Then I'm going to object, path offset path and we're going to make a stroke to add these dots. I'm going to make that 12 pixels. Click OK. Shift X to switch our fill to a stroke. I for eyedropper and click on that right there. Make sure that this option Align dashes to corners is picked. Boom. So it will shift it a little bit. And we can click off. Command zero. Now we have a good foundation for a sugar skull. Last thing we need to do is highlight that stuff. Command G to group. Shift. Click on the skull. Come to our align tab. Align to key object, click on the skull, horizontal align center so the mouth is centered perfectly, click off, command S to save. Now we got a good start. It's just the beginning. We're going to do some cooler stuff from here.